Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pressure plate trap. Now, today's base plate might look a bit different because this is the new base plate. So, if you guys want uh, the old base plate, which is the classic base plate now, which is the classic base plate now, uh, you guys can tell me in the comments below. But today, we're going to be using the new base plate that Roblox has added. Okay, so today's video comes from this comment, which is, uh, yeah, there it is, it's on the screen. So today we're going to be making a pressure plate trap. So, first of all, we're just going to make, like, our actual trap. So, like, for example, uh, say, let's make a square. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. So a 6x6 six six stud. Just like that. And then under the kill part, we can add any scripts. So this will be a script to determine, uh, like, to make the player die. So let's name it kill. And then you can write what I write. So local kill brick equals to script. Script dot parent. And then kill brick dot touch colon connect function hit and then we can go down the line and then if hit and hit dot parent colon find first child brackets quotation mark humanoid and then then we go down the line local uh, humanoid equals to hit dot parent can't spell hit dot parent dot humanoid and then we can go humanoid dot health equals to zero so if the player touches this part uh, they will die so next I'm just gonna color it red so you can see it more properly okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is make the actual trap so first I'm just gonna go build a wall around it so I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse Okay, so now that we've got our walls around the trap, I'm just gonna select all of them, and I'm gonna name them all wall, and then I'm just gonna change them, yeah, medium stone gray should be good, and also wanna make sure that they're anchored, so make sure that they're anchored, so they should look like something like this. So basically, if they fall in the hole, they'll be stuck in here and then if they touch this they will die then we can start making our actual sensor so this will be the top of the sensor so that if they hit this part right here uh, they will automatically fall into this hole so just make sure that it's anchored and then you can name it a sensor just like that and you can color it whatever you want so I'm just gonna color mine Okay, cool. So now we just need to script the actual sensor and we should be done. So under the sensor, let's add in a script and then let's name this script disappear. So you can write local part equals to script dot parent and then part dot touch colon connect function hit and then if hit and hit dot parent colon find first first child brackets quotation marks humanoid then and then we're just gonna make the part disappear so part dot transparency equals to one because right now the transparency is zero so if we make it to one it will make it like uh, transparent and then part dot uh, not child added dot 
can collide equals to false, which means you can fall right through it. And then we're just going to put like a 3 second cooldown. So after 3 seconds, it's going to return to normal. So part dot transparency equals to 0. And then part dot can collide equals to true. So this should be our pressure plate trap. So basically, as soon as you touch that, uh, it will like will disappear and then you will fall down into this pit of death. So I'm just going to quickly do a few things so that I can actually get there. So add in a wedge. This will be our ramp. Let's scale it. And now I'm just going to add in a spawn so I actually spawn here. So let's go test it out. Okay, so I just load in. So for example, say you're just walking and suddenly you hit there and boom, you die. So like as soon as you hit it, it disappears. And after three seconds, it does uh, go back. But if you stand on the edge, uh, nothing will happen. So if you want like, as soon as you touch it, they die. You might want to remove the walls. So I'm just going to go remove the walls right now. And I'm going to show you guys one more time. Okay, so I removed the walls. Uh, but if you do want to, you can uh, add like walls on the very side. Um, but basically, if they touch this, they will fall right onto here. So I'm going to test it out one more time. Okay, so I just load it in. And this time, as soon as you touch it, boom, you die. So yeah, you can see that it works really well. It will uh, go back after three seconds. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. We are getting really close to 250 subscribers. That's like a quarter to a thousand. You guys are just absolutely amazing. And tell me any other maybe like tutorial ideas you guys want. I might not see all of them, but I'll try my best to do them. Okay, bye.